anything like this <laughs> but it's a convenient little thing right here that just automatically slices and cores the inside for you the pears are easy all right so yeah I was wondering if anybody was gonna get the ingredients and do this with me this is a little cricket I'm not used to using these so we may have an issue here. Let's see. Slow. It's coming. I don't want to cut myself. There we go. All right. How many of you have seen these before? <laughs> Everyone. Oh, we have two that haven't. <laughs> All right. Well, this takes the center core out and slices the fruit for you. So, but it's not as easy as it looks. How about, can I use your strength, you wash your hands for me, and finish the apples are a little bit harder. I'm going to get some assistance working it. So anyway, while these are, as we're going through our hard times, First, let me tell you a little bit about me, okay? Well, you Those that may up, not know me. I think you use it upside down because you're supposed to... You think I used it? Yeah, because <laughs> you can't... You're supposed to press it down and you got it. If you've seen my shows, you've seen him on them. That he is. Yeah, you use it upside down. That's why you're struggling. Oops. <laughs> okay. So... If I can pretty much... So that's what it was. So anyway, my name is Tamara Walker, also known as Faya. And Faya is my stage name. My spiritual name is F-I-Y-A. It means faith is your answer. I literally live by faith. I'm not a religious person. Hey, I have one more. <laughs> I'm not a religious person, but I am a spiritual being. And I feel that I want to put into this universe while I'm here. It's just love. Love. Unconditionally. It doesn't matter. Everything that I know how to do, I would like to teach and show you and give you. So, um, at the same time, thank you so much. So now we have them cut and you know what? I am going to, because I see some seeds. So one of the things I love to do, I um, sing. As you may know, I write all my own songs. I am also a spiritual healer. I do by a two cup water ceremony, which I think I would love to show you that today why this is in the oven before the concert. Okay, so um, we're just going to do that. So now we have everything ready. Everything is sliced and cut up. I believe some of these are large. So what I'm going to do is thin it out some of the, the pear. We lost that one. <laughs> we literally lost that one. <laughs> the pears are very big, okay? And slippery at the same time. I'm not going to pick it up because I have my gloves on and I'm working with the food. And so I see a inside there. So then it says our next step is, this is also my first time doing this one. That's why I thought we were going to be doing it kind of together. So. What we do is, the oven is already on, so this is supposed to be about three cups of apples, everything after it's all cut up. So we combine this, oh, we just combined everything in the bowl, okay? I'm going to melt my butters. Son, if you don't mind, I want to put, um, I think that's way more than three cups. But we're doubling it, okay? So we're going to, this is supposed to be melted. So we're going to melt that. And as easy as it says, we just sprinkle, okay? We're going to get rid of this. She's 
ready. So we put both boxes in because I want enough for all of you guys. <laughs> what is <laughs> All right, here we go. Now, you know, I normally have music on my shows in the background. I can't stand dead time. But I didn't want to, on this one, do that. So, the next thing to do is to uh, mix it up really good. And then... We put it in the oven. Any questions so far? No. <laughs> so I was wondering, uh, can you hear me? Yes. Okay. Um, is that butter that you put in there? Yes. And it's it was um, for each box. It required four tablespoons. Okay, nice. of butter. And I use real butter, by the way. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so yes. Anyway, a little bit more about me. I have never been married. I am single mom, raised four children on my own. I'm a valley girl from Paris Valley, California, if anybody's ever heard of that. But I was born in San Bernardino. But, you know, I've come a long ways. I'm going to tell y'all, um, I'm not even really, <laughs> it's a shock to be who I even am today, for real. I have um, been through a lot. I um raped at nine years old by three guys after my mother already died may she rest in peace in my first foster home um i broke my neck at 13 in a car accident my foster parents that at that time took us out of the state into another state and on the way back from arizona uh, louisiana in arizona the cadillac flipped over <sighs> i winded up believe it or not breaking my neck they didn't even know it until the next day later that's why i know i'm special because i ain't supposed to even they say be walking or anything like that but i am so we're gonna put this it's ready to go in the oven look what i found at the dollar tree this is a nice one <laughs> i don't know about y'all but i like that story <laughs> so i think these are new and so we bake this, it says, for 20 minutes. That looks good. You guys think you're going to try it? No? Heck yeah. <laughs> like, I'm not getting no interaction. What's up? <laughs> y'all ain't talking to me. Or y'all just waiting for me to sing? <laughs> no. <laughs> but I. No, I mean you go. But then the other amazing, crazy thing in my life is I winded up be a teenage mom. Okay, true enough. Then I winded up real didn't realize got involved with drugs, y'all. I winded up going to prison. I was a drug dealer selling methamphetamine and using it. Believe it or not. All that back in the day. But check this out. I'm 60. This was in my 20s. <laughs> so that total life is behind me. But I want to be an inspiration for those that don't understand that you can change your life. You have to learn how to really love yourself, though. And it's very important that we understand no matter what we go through, no matter we can get through. Mm -hmm. We can so one of the things I want to show you guys that um, while that's on, this is something that um, I do on the side, okay? I do many altars, and right now I, w I just feel the need to, um, I just feel the need to share something with you guys to help us get through this. I do a two cup water ceremony. How many of you believe and understand that the body is 95%, 75% water? We're in agreement of that? Do you also know that water has memory? Have you ever heard of that? Good, that's good, yes. I'm not probably saying his name right, or if he's Asian or um, Dr. Sumoto, I'm not really sure, but he did a experiment. Professor Emoto. Uh, thank you. 
Shut up. That's what I'm talking about. That's nice hey. to know someone knows what I'm talking about. <laughs> yes. <laughs> okay, thank you. So anyway, they did an experiment with water. And you know, like even in churches, what do they get baptized in? So we know water. Water is powerful. Water is life. Okay, so one of the things they did was they spoke negative into the water, froze it, and it came out. The designs was just ugly. It just disturbed. Then they spoke everything positive into the water, froze it, and the water came out beautiful, like um, snowflakes. You know, it just was beautiful de set designs and patterns. So what it said to be that when you speak into the water and you drink it, it will infuse with the water already in your body and into your memory because our pineal gland sets on water. That's how you remember your dreams. You have visions, you hear conversations. No, don't do that, yeah, do that, yeah, no. You know, all of that is within the inside of us. So, one of the things what this does is you take one issue at a time. Um, you can get a piece of paper to stay focused on one thing. I am going to choose doubt. Doubt. I'm going to choose doubt. So it's, it's a current state versus desired state. Okay? So when you mix visualization and you speak with authority and dominion that we are, that we have, and then you speak out your negative. I'm going to give you an example. Doubt. My current state is doubt. My current state is doubt is setting me back. My current state is my doubt is not allowing me to make good choices. My current state is my doubt makes me feel insecure. I see myself. We see ourselves visualization. My desired state is I don't doubt. My desired state is I'm sure and I'm confident of the choices that I am making. My desired state is I have the courage that I need to speak when I need without doubting myself. Normally, I put on a favorite fragrance, an oil. I like Palo Santos. I love if anybody knows what that is. And I sit there and I meditate in my desired state and see myself without doubt, with confidence, with being able to speak. Okay? This is not easy, believe it or not. This is my second time doing that. Even though I am an artist, I'm an actress, I'm on the stage, but that's when I'm acting and performing, right? But to be able to literally just be authentically yourself and just communicate um, without, I mean, fluently is something I've never, ever been able to do without being nervous, without getting all of my words all boggled and caught up and everything and, okay, wait a minute, you know, and getting my thoughts right. But this is a tool. And this, I tell you, it's a quantum. If you ever heard of quantum physics, it's a quantum leap. It's like people pray, pray, pray. I prayed all my life. But I learned what the difference is. Prayer is pleading and begging. Think about it. Oh, Lord, if you pray, please help me. Um, show me. Uh, get me out of this. I mean, think about it. You're on your knees. You're literally pleading. But we were giving authority and dominion and power to speak things as though they are even though you may not see them and believe it and trust in yourself that it will manifest okay so that's what that is about was that interesting has anybody ever heard of this before that's really beautiful <clears throat> i have a friend who she does the same thing but in baths and so but baths it's like i don't have time to take baths all the time so this is a really good alternative that I can do quicker and so it's more accessible than like sitting down and taking a bath. So I really appreciate that. Thank you. Yes, you're welcome. You know, there's another experience that I had with a friend um, that owned a theater and she does it with, if you got a gallon bag and you put like warm water in it and um, little sea salt. 
And if you lie down on your back and you just allow that to, to get on just on your stomach, all of a sudden it will rock wave with the water that's in your body and it balances you out. It was it's such a peaceful also water is powerful. That's why we have to really drink it. <laughs> a lot of it. It's really, really powerful. I'm gonna still show you what it looks like. Oh my, but I still wanna leave it in a little bit longer. Can you see it? Um, I'll be right over. Okay. <laughs> Look at that. Ooh. Yeah. Yes. Mmm, that's what it looks like. But I'm gonna put it back in because I want it to be a little bit browner. You know, kind of like me. No. <laughs> All right, you guys. That's it. Thank you so much. Can everyone unmute and give Tamara a hand? <laughs> Thank, you. Thank you so much. <laughs> Thank you. That was amazing. Thank you all so much. Subscribe. Click like. Subscribe. Click, click, click that like. Uh. Cooking with fire. What's your desire? Let me make you some good to eat. It'd be so good you'll fall asleep Now you cook it with fire Elevating dishes higher Let me fix you something sweet I'll put a wiggle in your feet